Hi guys, my name is Michelle and today's video is going to be a super quick one. So I made a video on clarifying versus chelating and I also told you that you can chelate with apple cider vinegar. So you can do an ACV rinse, but I didn't show you how. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process using a shampoo and apple cider vinegar. If that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Also guys, hang on. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. All right, let's get to the video. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how you can chelate your hair using apple cider vinegar, and I'm gonna take you through three processes of how you can do it. I'm not gonna be defining what chelating versus clarifying is. Look up here to check out that video. Okay, so we're starting off with dirty hair. This is what my hair looks like. Okay, so how do we chelate our hair? The first way to do it is to use a shampoo. I'm using the Wow Skin Science Apple Cider Vinegar Shampoo. But before we go in with the Apple Cider Vinegar Shampoo, I'm first going to shampoo my hair with a regular shampoo. And to shampoo my hair, I'm using the Wow Skin Science Satin Sunshade Sunscreen Shampoo. I absolutely love this shampoo. The lather potential is fantastic, which is why I enjoy using it. As always, I'm going to go in with a scalp brush and I'm really going to massage the scalp. Now, you might be wondering why we're shampooing and conditioning before we start chelating. Well, every article that I read suggested that you should do it. And my best guess would be that maybe to do this, it's important to have detangled hair. Either way, it does not hurt to clean your hair before we do something extra to it. I'm conditioning with Wow's Moroccan Argan Oil Hair Conditioner. I'll use a few pumps of the product. I will apply using praying hands and then with the EXO curl comb, I'll detangle. Once I'm done detangling, I'm going to wash all of that product out of my hair and then I'm going to start chelating. So the first method is to use the Wow Skin Science Apple Cider Vinegar Shampoo. This shampoo is made of 100% natural and raw Himalayan apple cider vinegar. It helps to remove buildup and restores shine and smoothness. The best thing about the WOW shampoos are that they have an ingredient called sodium laurel sarcosinate. According to isitcg.com, this ingredient is a cleansing agent and could be potentially drying, but it is not as harsh as a sulfate and it is CG approved. So what you're essentially getting in the shampoo is a cleansing agent that is not as harsh as a sulfate, but it also has a chelating agent. So it is almost like clarifying and chelating your hair at the same time. All right, guys, check out my application technique. What I've done is I've sectioned my hair out into six sections and I've just used clips to keep the hair out of place. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking the hair and almost treating them like slices of hair. And with my hands, I'm just running through the hair. All right, there's literally no way for me to describe this process. Uh, I'm taking the hair in between my pointer and my middle finger and just sliding down with it. This is helping me disperse the product evenly. Hopefully that makes sense. You should also scrub your scalp with the product after you're done applying it to the lengths of your hair. If you have dandruff, which is also known as seborrheic dermatitis, this is basically fungus that grows on the scalp, right? Apple cider vinegar is going to change the pH of the scalp. The dandruff, the fungus is not going to be able to survive on the scalp. And in that sense, apple cider vinegar is a very effective treatment if you have dandruff. So yeah, once again, going back to the shampoo, I'm going to focus it on the lengths of my hair and also on the scalp. I'll go in with my scalp massaging brush thingy. Why not? I want to get a good cleanse, right? So once I'm done massaging the shampoo into my scalp, I'm going to take a comb. Okay, it's not a comb per se, it's a brush. You'll see this brush a few seconds later into the video. It's hot pink in color. You can use this brush to detangle as well, but I'll tell you what I enjoy doing with this brush the most. Oh my goodness, combing my hair in shower. The feeling of this brush against your scalp is absolutely unmatched. It almost cups your scalp and sort of gives you that beautiful massage -y feeling. I cannot describe it, guys. Oh my God, get this brush. You'll thank me later. The best part about this is this is, I think, 200 and something rupees. It's available on Amazon. 
It is absolutely fantastic. I vouch for this wholeheartedly. Okay, so now let's talk about the second method, which is to just take raw apple cider vinegar and mix it in water. You're gonna take one part of ACV and three parts of water, put it into a spray bottle. Now, if you can get organic apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it, this will be fantastic. It's basically that sediment that forms at the bottom of the ACV. Because in addition to its antimicrobial properties, it has so many other nutrients that are super, super beneficial for the hair. Let's talk about what I'm doing with this. I'm just gonna spray it on the scalp, scrub the scalp, massage the scalp, remove that buildup, and also focus it on the lengths of the hair. Okay, the attempt here was to make this video very short, but I realize I'm sounding very manic. So method number three is called the bowl method. And what I'm gonna do is I'm taking 60 ml of ACV and 180 ml of water. I put that into a bowl. Now I'm just taking my hair and tilting upside down. I'll comb my hair in this direction. And then I'm just going to lower all of my hair into the bowl. So dunk your hair all the way in. You'll notice that I'm taking my head and moving it around in the bowl so that my hair is saturated with the ACV and so is my scalp. Well, most of my scalp, it's not possible for you to get the end of your scalp this way. And then I'm just squishing my hair so that the excess apple cider vinegar falls back into the bowl and I don't have any wastage. Then I'm going to repeat dunking my head into the bowl again. Again, I'm going to tilt from side to side, make sure that I get most of my scalp. And it's very easy to realize how much of your scalp you've gotten because the apple cider vinegar and the water mixed together is pretty cold. You'll feel that sensation on your scalp. So I'm gonna keep repeating this process till most of the water in the bowl is gone and my hair is nicely saturated. Okay, so this is an upside down technique and it does hurt my back, I'm not going to lie. It is very, very uncomfortable, but this is a very good technique if you're doing an ACV rinse, which is why I decided to show you this technique in this video. If you don't have back problems, then by all means try it. And if this does not work for you, then just go in with the shampoo. I promise you the results are just as good. Another note, when you're squishing, you want to hear that squishy sound of the water in your hair. This is when you know that your hair is nice and seaweedy and nicely saturated. I'll do this a few times till the liquid in the bowl is significantly reduced and I have very, very little left. And I'm just going to pour the excess liquid to the back of my head to those areas that I didn't reach before. Once I'm done with this, I'm thoroughly going to rinse that apple cider and water off my scalp and then I'm going to go in with deep conditioner. For deep conditioner, I'm using the Wow Skin Science Coconut Mask. This is a moisture mask, but it also has wheat protein in it. I absolutely love this hair mask for deep conditioning. So good. I'm just going to deep condition with this. Then I'm going to style. I'm not going into the specifics of that. If you want, check out my deep conditioning video. I'll leave it up here. All right, so these are my results. As you can see, I have some nice, beautiful, shiny curls. Now, let's talk about using the DIY, which means to say, let's talk about using apple cider vinegar and water. Is it gonna be easy for you to rinse this off your hair? And are you gonna be left with some of that apple cider vinegar smell? Now look, with every single DIY, you are going to have a little remnant smell but the moment you put your stylers, your leave-in conditioner, the smell mostly gets masked. So unless you have a huge problem with the smell of apple cider vinegar, you should be good. But 
If the smell of apple cider vinegar is something that you absolutely cannot take and you need something a little more commercial, a little more store-bought, then the shampoo is something that you're really going to enjoy. Are there differences in the results? No, not really. They both do the same thing. They both leave your hair really nice, really bouncy, really soft, really shiny as you can see. What it also does is it leaves you with a clean slate. I would say chelate your hair at least once a month or when you feel like your hair is not doing what you want it to do. So yeah, you're not gonna have any trouble if you use one or the other. All right guys, this was a super quick video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.